I write the poetry of cities every day. That's my discipline. What's the exact reason to do such things for you? Well, the joy of listening to music and being a fan is a, a, an energy that drives an artist, certainly drives me and Rick to wanting to respond. And uh, so like, what is the response to uh, a group like Health or any other person that we've worked with on, the, on this record? What is, the, what, is the, what is the response to that? Well, to someone who doesn't make music, it's to dance or it's to go and see them or, uh, or it's to be happy to hear them in the car. You know, for us, it's all those things and it's also to say, well, mm, that's kind of interesting. That makes me think of, uh, I want to do this. I want to respond by doing this. Do you have enough time to be a fan of music as well? Or? Yeah, absolutely. It's really important to be a fan of music. Yeah, I listen to music in the car, I listen to the radio a lot, um, and buy music a lot. And, uh, you know, I've got piles <laughs> of records. And uh, we, we did a web radio show for a long time, which has is, which is, uh, been, been on hold for a, for a year or so. And uh, that was a great joy because you put together playlists and, and then playing them on air and uh, always enjoy sitting in on uh, radio stations and taking over and, and doing a show there because it's great to be around music and play it and share it with people. Yeah. Do you, what's the difference between when you listen to your own music? Do you feel uh, some way uh, emotionally attached to it or is it just uh, like it's my work? And um, just, well, it's, it's difficult to listen to one's own mu music. It's not something I do very often. Uh, in fact, never, uh, <laughs> because uh, we're out playing it live and the, it's evolving live and, and I'm hearing it down inside it there. Um, having said that, um, this album I am playing quite a bit in the car. Okay. Why is that? It makes me happy. Yeah, it really makes me happy. How come that this one, you are able to listen to this one and not to the others? I think the process was sufficiently different. Um, it got to a place where Rick said, and I'll, I'm going to finish the record now, uh, you can come to the studio if you want, but you know, I would suggest that you don't spend too much time around the music, keep your ears fresh. I had this painting exhibition in Japan to do, so I locked myself away in the painting studio and Rick was in the, in the mixing studio, and so when I eventually heard the album, I wasn't even hearing tracks coming through. When I eventually heard the album, it was, wow, I really like this. It was one of those where if it had been by somebody else, I'd be raving about it on the internet, going, wow, it's really fresh, and I like the buzz, I like the energy that's going on around this record, and it's us, oh wow, that's kind of weird, okay. it's nice. And I play it to my kids, you know, my kids like it, and, and, and I like that, you know, it's nice to be a, a dad that's your kids like your music. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to, to what level uh, uh, were you into the process of writing this album? At what point was it, uh, yeah, Rick, uh, that took the took uh, the the rest of the yeah the album creation over? As, well, it was it was late in the day where now is the time to to close down the collaborations, to um, close down the changes, and to work on finishing the tracks to mix them and to, uh, and to see how they start sitting together because there's also the process of seeing how they sit together might require some of them to be changed and there was, uh, there was, there'd be some of that going on and, and then mastering them and hearing that they sounded slightly different and taking them home and changing them again. In fact, just before I left England, we'd mastered the album and Rick said, there's something missing from one of the tracks. You know, and he'd only just heard it, and uh, it, it was like, and he, and he put it back in and went, yeah, and it's, and it's better for it back in, so one of the tracks has to be remastered and okay. put back into the album again. So that still needs to happen? Yeah, okay. yeah it's great. It's, he's, he's, he's always like that. Yeah. It's just, you, know, you, have to, you have to kind of say, it's finished now, finished now, right, we're going on tour now, right, stop, we're going. Yeah, yeah but I could just, just...